JJG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is live, man. Back at it again. All right. So today we're going to talk about five front end frameworks to look out for in 2018, man. The five front end frameworks to look out, kid. All right. <laughs> all right. First of all, I'm going to start with my two favorite ones. All right. So the first one is Preact. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. Is pretty much like react but way faster right so they looked at what react had they follow some of the conventions that it had you could actually take a react application and basically put it the same way in preact but just importing instead of importing react you import preact and then everything runs you know smooth right so it's really great because it's like I love react I love the way that react works as a framework and the fact that it's just plain JavaScript it's not like we gotta understand things like v bind this v bind that or you know bind this or ng this ng that it's just JavaScript all right so if you know a little bit of react or you already know react itself preact is easy to pick up Right now, I think it's the number one up and coming uh, framework. Everybody's talking about it. Um, everybody that loves to react is jumping on this. And let's see what happens when Angular, re, you know, not Angular, sorry, when React releases uh, Fiverr. Let's see if there's a big difference between Fiverr and Preact. If there is, then people might just jump to React Fiverr. Now, if it's still neck to neck a lot of people are going to jump to preact for 2018 that's for sure all right now inferno is another one inferno is very similar to preact but they just have different you know architecture in the back you know in the background the way how it's built itself um but it's pretty much like react it's the same thing as preact i know it sounds react preact and all this shit right it sounds very similar right but the difference about this is that you know it's like this one it's TypeScript support it has its own routing system um you know like they already have almost everything like Inferno Inferno server Inferno's uh, Mobex Inferno Redux Inferno re um router Inferno test utilities like there's so much that's already built for Inferno that if you know React you can jump on this and hit the ground running and it's actually faster which is you know why a lot of people are jumping into this because they're like hey we love react but we know that we can actually make this a little bit more faster and you know we just waiting for react fiber but till then we got inferno js and preact then from there we got riot riot is another one that's just big on the low it's very it's very independent it's not like any major company is behind it it doesn't have you know, Laravel behind it, like Vue.js to say, hey, this is Vue.js. No, Riot.js is, it, it's very similar to Vue in certain things, but at the same time, it's, it's different. And then what's cool about it is like, it's an independent uh, framework. It's not, you know, it's not the mainstream. Like, you know, sometimes for us developers, we want to try the new, the latest, this is like you know how when you listen to a song and you listen to it from an artist that nobody knows you like oh man this is my favorite song right but then once everybody start using it you're like oh man i hate that artist man now he's popular this and that that's pretty much where we um riot is at right now right because it's like it's very independent right now it's very underground so it's like one of those frameworks that's on the come up but people, not everybody knows about it yet, right? Now, there's another one. This comes to this this issue here with Polymer, right? Polymer, everybody know about Polymer because Google released it. You know, when it first came out, the first time that I heard about components was actually from Polymer. Polymer 1.0, I think it was Alpha. Excuse me, it was Alpha at that time, right? But now they they basically they noticed that in polymer one nobody was picking it up nobody was using it nobody was talking about it and then they realized man we gotta 
you know, revamp this whole framework and let's just, you know, release a new version. Still uh, with a lot of the, the code from Polymer 1, but now it's updated. It's, it's more in the sense of like how React came out, right? So as you can see, Angular, uh, Vue.js, um, who else? There's a million different frameworks that all switched up to the component model, how React did it. And then Polymer is no different. They're pretty much taking some of it and then creating it in their own way. But it's pretty cool. I really enjoy Polymer. I think it has its own its own fan base. It, it could get somewhere next year. Let's see how it goes, right? Now, then we have Aurelia IO, right? So Aurelia has been around for, I can't say if it's been around for a long time, but it's definitely it's definitely known it's like one of those projects that everybody's been talking about like under low they're like oh have you heard of Aurelia have you heard of this have you heard of that and I think 2018 when they come out with a, uh, a better version than where it is now I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are gonna jump on this because it's a pretty cool app is I like the way how it works you know it's very similar to react is it's more closer to just javascript instead of using something like angular where you gotta know a, mer a million different things and you're like oh ng app this ng this ng cloak ng whatever it's like this is just javascript if you know javascript you're going to be fine with this framework so this is why i like it uh i don't know if you guys have checked out your boy um your boy eric sorry <laughs> sorry i'm trying to remember everything that i wanted to say in this video but your boy eric he he has a pretty good tutorials on aurelia he's one of the people that have been using aurelia for a while if you guys don't know who he is he's on my on my youtube channel check him out eric hanser he's pretty legit man he's a pretty legit developer check him out he got tutorials on aurelia you know he's one of the people that um i looked up for actually you know when it comes to Aurelia uh, tutorials he got some legit ones but yeah man those are my top five picks right this is my top five picks for 2018 the up-and-coming frameworks now who do I think is gonna win out of all of this five uh, it's between Preact and Inferno that's for sure you know these are the ones that have the biggest fan base these are the ones that everybody's talking about there's other ones that everybody wants to be using all right so if you want to be ahead of the curve and you want to say hey I want to join the cool kids then you got pre acting inferno guys all right so make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video I'm actually gonna put in the list right on codingface.com I'm gonna put the link to it right here right below on the description somewhere I don't know. It should be like somewhere down there, right? So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the kid. Make sure you like this video. You already know. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. CodingFace.com. Bow.